Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today. And today is the last day I'm gonna have my curls for a while. I'm about to get my hair braided. I'm actually really excited. I just need like a break from my curls, you know. You know, we've all been there. I'm going on vacation tomorrow. I'm going to Aruba and I don't want to have to deal with that crazy humidity or the ocean. So we're just gonna send our curls on a little vacation as well. So I'm going to get braids, like real braids, not these little, janky whatever braids. I'm talking Janet Jackson, Poetic Justice braids, Beyonce, hold up, they don't love you like I love you type braids. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I prep my hair before getting braids. No, we're not going to straighten our hair before we put our hair in braids. Y'all will find any excuse to straighten your curls, huh? I've never understood the concept of straightening your hair before putting them in a protective style. The style ain't gonna protect them from you if you're gonna flat iron them. So I'm gonna show you what I do just to kind of stretch out my curls before I get braids. I did this before, it worked out just fine. So I mean, you don't have to straighten your hair. That's all I'm saying, that's all I'm ever saying. So without further ado, let me hop in the shower and show you the very, very beginning process from washing to now. All right, the time has come. I have to say goodbye to my curls. I kind of get like separation anxiety, but let's do this. So the main thing I like to do before getting braids is making sure I start off on a very clean scalp. So I'm grabbing one of my favorite cleansers, the Diva Curl Buildup Buster. This does a really good job of getting rid of any buildup, product buildup, anything that might be on your scalp, oil, sebum, whatever. I need a very clean scalp going in. So I'm going to use the nozzle to apply this directly to my scalp and scrub it in. Then I'm also going to grab my Vanity Planet Shampoo Scalp Massaging Brush just to really make sure I'm getting a nice clean. Then I'm going to rinse it all off with cool water. Grabbing my Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Creamy Conditioner. This conditioner is very moisturizing. I want my curls to be as moisturized as possible as they take a little long nap in my braids. I'm also grabbing my Tangle Teaser to really make sure that all the conditioner is getting into each hair follicle. Now, because it's going to be a while before I can deep condition, I'm going to rinse out my conditioner and then grab a deep conditioner or hair mask. This is the Not Your Mother's Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Hair Mask, which smells amazing. You know, it's one of my favorites. Grabbing a good old glob of this and really saturating all of my curls in this mask. Then I'm gonna put it up and away and under a shower cap. Once I get out of the shower, I then grab my Thermal Hair Care Heat Cap, put it in the microwave for about 45 seconds on each side, so that way I get some heat in my cap, letting it really penetrate into the hair shaft. After my deep conditioning is complete, after 20 minutes, I'm going to then grab my Diva Curl microfiber towel and just kind of get rid of any other excess water. Then I'm grabbing a leave-in conditioner. I am like the only person on YouTube talking about this product. This is the Zeron Equalizer. If you guys watched my Mother's Day video, this is the one product I used to use in my hair when I was younger and it still is amazing and silicone free today. So I'm going to apply this to my hair just to make sure my curls can be as moisturized as possible before going into the braids. I'm then grabbing my Tangle Teaser again just to really smooth it in and make sure that I don't have any tangles. And I gotta say, Look how shiny my curls look with no silicone. That's no plastic coating, people. That's just healthy curls. And now for the most important step. I'm gonna put my hair away into two braids. This is the only type of braid I know how to do, like the basic 101 braid, not a French braid, not any other fishtail braid, just literally the most basic braid of all time. And I'm gonna do one on each side so that this can stretch out my curls. Ta-da! That's all there is to it. Now I'm just gonna let them sit while I go to sleep. And that is how we got to this point right here the next day. So let me go ahead and take off my satin lined hat by Tress For Us. If y'all don't have a curly hat with the built-in scrunchies, you need to get one. But let's check out how this hair did. These are my two braids now. They are finally dry. And now I'm just gonna take them out. So now we're stretched out, a little bit flatter, but for this instance, I kinda wanna brush it out so I don't really have a curl pattern. Don't do this unless you're literally you're trying to make it puffy and fluffy and do braids. But I am going to 
brush it out just to kind of get rid of that curl pattern. Ooh, I don't even like saying those words. That's not good. Now my hair is really soft. I know it looks kind of like dry, but I think just blonde frizz looks extra dry. <laughs> but don't worry, it's actually very soft. Already detangled. Wow, that is not cute. Ta-da! We are stretched. So if you guys wanted to see what my hair looks like with like no product, brushed out, frizzy, this is for you. But my hair is still a little bit damp and I don't really want it to be wet for this braiding. So I am gonna get my diffuser and dry it off a little bit. crazy like you could do so many things with it you could have a completely different look depending on what you do or don't do to it all right so I'm gonna leave my hair just like this it is all combed out no tangles it's clean and it's stretched so I don't have any like super defined curls that are gonna try to pop out of my braids so the hairstylist is gonna be doing my braids today is Lauren Holiday, and I'm gonna ask her if I can add a little bit of leave-in conditioner or if it's better for it to be dry, we'll see what she said. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it as is. It actually looks like the hair that I bought for my braids. Let me show you. So here's the, oh. so here's the hair that I'm going to be using for my braids. This brand is, oh, it's literally called Poetic Justice Braid. That's funny. African Nature Braid Collection. It's already prepped and stretched, which is usually what stylists prefer to have the hair already pre-stretched. It's 56 inches large, quick braid, and this is the color that I got. So actually, pretty similar to mine, but a little bit blonder. And I got seven packs of these, so we'll see if that's enough. Hopefully it will. Color is T27 slash 613. So it's a blend of two different colors. And then I wanna try something different this time and add a little bit of curl on the end of my braids. We'll see how this looks. So I got some synthetic hair to add these little curls at the bottom. So I got three packs of synthetic curly hair. This is the Free Tress Braid Crochet Braid Hair, also in the color TP27 slash 613. And I bought all this hair from Wow Beauty Supply, which is the local store here in California. I'm not sure if they're in other states, but if they are, it's a good store. All right, the time has come. She's gonna be here any minute to start braiding. <gasps> Goodbye, my curly hair. I feel like I'm gonna miss it. But then it's so easy to wake up in the morning that I'm like, I'm fine. All right. Let's start braiding. Here we go. This is Lauren. Starting the process.
seven hours, I think. We did go extra long. And I, of course, I added some curls. We're about to go back and dip them in hot water. But before I do that, I want to show you the new inches. Aruba, I'm ready for you. So typically after you get box braids, you dip them into hot water to seal the braids so they don't come unraveled. But because I had synthetic curls on the bottom, we weren't sure how that was going to work. So we did a little tester here. And as you can see, it just melted the hair. The synthetic hair is basically plastic. So don't put it in steaming hot water or you're basically just going to straighten it and give your little fake curls real heat damage. So that didn't work, but we tested it on one. So instead we just got some super glue or you can get actual hair glue and just put it around the ends of the braid so it wouldn't unravel. I then decided that my braids were really, really long, like past my butt to where I was sitting on them. So here's my friend Ashley helping me cut them a little bit shorter. Ouch. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped too, like I heard you. <laughs> go my completed braided look i absolutely love how they turned out Ooh. Ooh. well then technically give me my big chop <laughs> <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe i post two new videos every week once on friday and once on sunday and make sure to follow me on instagram at ms bianca renee because i will be posting some fire photos very soon i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bianca renee today.